mostly this tagine is made from our surplus food that we collect and that's one of the reasons why we've cooked this today because it's really useful for anybody who collects surplus it can use wobbly carrots wrinkly peppers whatever so we've got carrots chickpeas some butternut squash we found some wild garlic in the woods so that's in there some spinach which was in our surplus yesterday and then spices wise we've got cumin coriander some paprika some saffron salt and then some fresh uh, green coriander as well um what else is in there anything uh, i've also added some flaked almonds to mine as i ate it and we put some spinach in right at the last minute we didn't cook it directly in the fire we also warmed it up really really slowly so that it got used to the heat of the fire and so far so but now good. we're also trying to cool it down so that putting it on a cold surface doesn't crack it Yesterday we cooked a Moroccan style tagine using quite a lot of the ingredients that are really common in the boxes that we collect from supermarkets of surplus food which then we can use with uh, people in our work. Today, this morning, we're going to make a breakfast in a similar vein that also uses some of the most common ingredients that we get. So potatoes, eggs, avocados, we've got some spinach, got some tomatoes, some wraps and then we're going to add to it which is optional if you're veggie or vegan so this is what we've brought to the table bacon and cheese we rarely get cheese we never get bacon so we've just bought that but all of this is stuff that we would be donated and we're going to make breakfast burritos How much do you love hash browns? Uh, more than you. Ah! <laughs> Shocking. No, Shocking. But a lot, a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to squeeze it, all the water out and then put egg in it and then we're going to like mix it together and then fry it. that we'd made, some bacon, uh, tomatoes, eggs, some avocado, uh, tried to wrap it all up in one and we overfilled it so we definitely couldn't wrap it up but ate it and it was delicious. Okay. Is it good? 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Let me see. It's quite fat, but tasty. Skills. <laughs> Not sure if you'll be able to tell, so I'm gonna just walk further up. But as we go further into the woods, you can see all of the bluebells that are getting ready, all the bluebell greenery at least, and it is gonna be absolutely carpeted with it. So when the bluebells pop out, I'll come back and do you some more video. <laughs> 